ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತೆಯೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಂದರ ಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವೀಸ ರಾವಣ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಜೆಷನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ದಟ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪನಿಶ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಪನಿಶ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ he would bring rama and lakshmana for a fighting with ravana which would be on an advantage for ravana being its home ground that he is fighting from his home ground so then he ordered that the tail of the monkey hanuman should be set ablaze and he should be wandered through the city however hanuman took it for his advantage that in the broad daylight he could see all the vulnerable spots of lanka which would be advantageous for them to decide where to strike in a later later time when the war happens sir and now after being paraded through the entire city hanuman decided to set himself free he tore off all those tyings by the demons and then he jumped off onto the main gate of lanka serving lanka that monkey having attained his purpose began to consider that he should do what he should do further and reflected in himself what more remains for me to do to afflict the titans grow laid waste those wild titans slain part of the army destroyed nothing is left for me but to demolish their citadel with their fort destroyed it were easy to bring my labors to an end with a little effort i can complete my task and obtain the prize of my trouble bearer of sacrificial offerings that flames on my tail must be propitiated by me i shall therefore burn up these excellent buildings so he decided to offer the entire lanka for the fire that is blazing on his tail bear it with his tiles and flames which lent him the appearance of a cloud charged with his, with lightning the great monkey began to range the roofs of the dwellings of lanka glancing round passing from mansion to mansion with a calm mind he encircled those stately edifices and gardens and leaping impetuously towards the palace of prahasta that one of exceeding prowess in strength resembling the wind set fire to the palace of prahasta there after the mighty hanuman bounded to the mansion of mahaparshwa lighting a fire equal to that at the end of the world then the monkey of immense energy leaped on the residences of vajradamshtra and on those belonging to shuka and the intelligent sarana in the same way that leader of monkeys burned down the habitations of indrajita dambumali and sumali and those of the titans rashmiketu surya shatru harya hraswakarna dhamstra romasha yuddha yuddhonmatta matta dvajagriva vidyudhikwa and hastimuka and the dwellings of tarala vishala shunit shunitaksha kumbhakarna mahara makaraksha maharaksha or makaraksha those of narantaka kumbha nikumbha and the magnanimous yagna shatru and brahma shatru but mighty bull among monkeys thereafter set fire to the accumulated treasure of those affluent titans and having passed over their dwellings that powerful and auspicious one approached the residence of the king of titans then the virtuous hanuman emitting loud cries resembling a cloud at the dissolution of the world with tip of his blazing tail set fire to that foremost of monkey buildings decorated with every variety of gems resembling mount meru or mandara enriched with sumptuous decorative decoration fanned by the wind the flames spread everywhere casting livid gleams like the fires of time and those palaces enriched those palaces enriched with gold decorated with pearls and gems richly bejeweled toppled the world 
toppled the earth, crumbling to dust like the mansions of the celestials who have fallen from the heaven when their merit is exhausted. Then there arose, there arose a mighty uproar among the titans who fled in all directions, unable to preserve their dwellings, bereft of their treasure, crying out, Verily, it is the god of fire himself in the form of a monkey. Some of the titan women with babies at their breasts ran shrieking from their homes and some enveloped in flames, their, ha their hair in disorder, fell from the high balconies like flashes of lightning in the sky. And Hanuman saw various metals flowing in a molten mass, mixed with diamonds, corals, emeralds, pearls and silver, streaming from the palaces, and as fire is not seed, set, set it, in, is not fire is not satisfied in consuming wood and straw, neither did Hanuman weary of slaying those leaders of titans nor the earth from receiving their corpses. As Rudra consumed the demon Tripura, so did that impetuous and mighty monkey burn up Lanka and from the summit of that mountain where Lanka stood, that dreadful conflag conflagration kindled by the intrepid Hanuman shot forth in tongues of flame. Resembling the fires at the destruction of the world, the smokeless conflagra conflagration it lit by Maruta blazed up the skies aided by the wind, feeding on the dwellings of the titans and their bodies like sacrificial offerings and with a fierce ardor of a million suns, it consumed Lanka wholly as with increasing volume. The fire cleaves the mundane egg with a sound resembling innumerable thunderclaps. Fire of incalculable fury rising into the sky with its flames resembling Kumshuka flowers, its clouds of smoke like unto the blue lotus looked exceedingly beautiful. Verily, this is the god who bears the thunderbolt, Mahendra, the chief of the thirty, or Yama, or Varuna, or Anila. This is no monkey but, a, but the god of death himself who has come. Or perchance it is a manifestation of Brahma's wrath, the four-faced god who in the form of a monkey has come here to destroy the titans. Or is it the supreme power of Vishnu, unimaginable, unutterable, infinite and unsurpassed, which by his maya has assumed the form of a monkey. Thus did the chief titan speak, being assembled and seeing their city suddenly consumed by fire with its inhabitants, horses, chariots, flocks of birds, beasts and trees. They began to lament, crying, O oh, my father, O oh, my beloved son, O oh, my dear one, O oh, my friend, O oh, Allah, O oh my Lord, our spiritual merit is exhausted. Thus amid a frightful clamor did the titans cry aloud, and Lanka encircled with flames, her heroes slain, her warriors succumbing to the swift wrath of Hanuman, appeared to have fallen under a curse. In the midst of the tumult of Hanuman with pride surveyed Lanka bearing the marks of that violent blaze, and its terror-stricken demons as Soyambhu surveys the final destruction of the world. Having demolished the grove, planted with rare trees, and slain those powerful titans in combat, and burned that city filled with splendid palaces, that monkey born of Pavana rested for a while. Having dispatched those titans in great numbers, destroyed the dense woods, and spread the fire among the titan dwellings, the illustrious Hanuman became absorbed in the thought of Rama. Thereupon all the celestials lauded that prince among monkeys, warriors, endowed with immense energy equal to Maruta in swiftness, but sagacious and excellent son of Vayu, and all the gods, the foremost of the ascetics, the Gandharvas, Vidyadharas, Pannagas, and Bhutas, 
experienced an exceeding and indescribable joy, and having devastated the forest, slain the titans in conflict, and burned the great city of Lanka, that mighty monkey seated on the roof of the foremost buildings, spreading the rays of his flaming tail like a aureole, resembled the sun encircled with a nimbus. Then, having consumed the city of Lanka, that great monkey quenched the fire of his tail in the sea. Beholding Lanka consumed by fire, the gods Gandharvas, Siddhas, and great ascetics were struck with amazement. Here is the great battle, I mean, the great happening done by Hanuman himself. But often, uh, some people used to make a crude comments saying that why the whole Lankans need to suffer for a mistake that is committed by their king Ravana. It is for the mistake that is committed by Ravana, the entire Lanka is destroyed and all the titans are giving their life. Yes, it do happen like that. Look at the countries in the Middle East. Look at Ukraine. Look at Afghanistan. What is happening in Pakistan where people are suffering because of the mistakes committed by their leader. And remember, we are also living in a democratic country. If we choose king, if we choose a prime minister who would behave like a Ravana, who would live like a Ravana, who will going to rob the country, and certainly a day will come when India too will, or Bharata, India too will going to burn like Lanka, when we all will have to suffer. And if we have to live prosperously like Ayodhya, then it is necessary for us to choose a leader, a prime minister, who live like Rama, who work for the sake of people, and who will going to build a Rama Rajya. The choice is in our hand whether to choose Ravana as our leader or whether to choose Rama as our leader. Whoever you choose, we will have to, we will going to live accordingly. If we choose a person like Ravana, we will also going to burn one day like what is happening in many other countries because of the mistake of their leader, the people are suffering. So likewise, we will also going to suffer. And if we choose a leader who live like Rama, he will going to build a Rama Raja and we all will going to have a prosperous life and the choice is ours. Thus, coming to the end, chapter 54 of Sundarakanda in Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi Kashmira Puramasini Vamaham Prarthaye Nityam Vidyadhananchadehime